Modernization is actually really hard and the tools that Remethi demoed and the technique that she showed, the methodology, is all created to solve this really hard problem. So what is this problem? First, it, you have really complicated legacy architectures, lots of different components, you know, relational database, store procedures, probably some sort of cache to get around the, you know, the, the fact that n-way joins are really expensive and maybe a search engine ad added on to add some more query capability that the relational database can't handle and then some runtimes, JBoss, WebSphere, who knows what else, an ORM, some really old version of Java that you know, is out of support and a whole bunch of libraries that are causing your compliance teams all sorts of headaches. And all those technologies that I just mentioned, for each of your apps, there's a huge amount of variation. Uh, whether you might have one app that's using uh, Hibernate, another one that's using Ibatis for ORM, different runtimes, different versions of different uh, databases. So there's a lot of complexity, a lot of different legacy technologies. The next challenge is that much of your team probably graduated from college in the last 10 years and isn't really familiar with those legacy technologies. You know, they don't know how to write PL SQL and they never wrote JBoss or used WebSphere or whatever. You know, they know Java Spring and they know Node.js and all kind of, you know, web development and all sorts of the modern type of development tools. So that's kind of a next challenge is you don't have the right team. And then the next challenge is that this application it was a monolith when it was designed, so it was already a really complicated, interconnected set of code. And then it's been a patched and uh, maintained and features added over the last 20 or 30 years. So it's really a giant ball of spaghetti. So to MongoDB, modernization requires a lot of different activities. It's not just code translation, right? So one is just going from that legacy platform to a modern technology stack. The next is replacing an, an old relational technology with a modern data platform like MongoDB. It in, typically involves taking a monolith and decomposing it into a modular architecture, whether it's a modular monolith or set of microservices. And then equally important, creating test coverage so that as you're doing the transformation and then later on when you add new capabilities, you can continuously validate that the application works as desired and you hadn't broken anything. And then finally, the last step there and is just doing the actual code transformation from legacy code to modern code. You might be wondering like, why don't I just rewrite this application? And in our view, you have invested as an organization 20 or 30 years of making sure this application works right, fixed any edge cases. So the value of translating the code and modernizing it is that all of that business logic that was developed and tuned over many years of hard work by large teams of people can be moved into a modern architecture and um, not lost if you do a re-implementation. So to kind of summarize, the application modernization platform consists of a set of both deterministic and gen AI based tooling for doing the kind of all of the tasks required for modernization. And those tools are applied based upon a series of techniques or methodologies that we've developed that have been proven to be really effective at accelerating development processes. And then finally, this is all orchestrated by a team of highly trained, talented modernization engineers. And what we've seen at um, customers when we do these projects is a really high degree of acceleration or developer productivity enhancement. So if you're looking at specific uh, tasks like code analysis or generating test coverage or code transformation, we're really able to accelerate those significant tasks, those tests at a high rate. When you look at like the end-to-end -end delivery of a project, typically we're doing these projects in two to three times faster than the customer could do it themselves or if the customer works with their favorite SI. 
So this has really dramatically changed the business processes for a number of our customers, enabling them to either like improve customer experience and satisfaction or capture market share or whatever their particular business challenge might be.